Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com. I'm going to show you how to retarget people who've been on your sales pages but haven't bought with Facebook ads. So what you do in Facebook is go into the Ads Manager and once you've got there, click Create Campaign. And of these options, we want to increase conversions on your website. Now there are two URLs that you need. One is the sales page and the other is the page that people go after they've completed purchase. So we're going to get my sales page there and key it in there. It's usually best to see that there is a featured image there. Now we've got to choose the conversion event and the conversion event is the page that they see after they've purchased and we put that in there. So just a note on this URL I send everyone that's purchased a product of mine to the same page and it's the page where they can see all their products. Now this isn't great because of course I can't differentiate between them with that URL but I can of course with the UTM code. Now you can put five different values in this UTM code. I'm only putting one and that's because I am limited by my membership site plugin DAP. There's a gremlin with that and I can only unfortunately add one UTM code but that's enough to differentiate this link from any others. So I'll copy that and instead of putting it in there I'll set up a custom conversion and put it in there. And it's actually URL contained so you could just put the UTM code in there but I put the whole link. Okay, choose a category and it's purchase because we are creating a custom conversion to purchase a product. Click next and add a name for this custom conversion. So I've put the name of the product, visitors to buyers. So that's what we can try and do. So we'll set a conversion value and the value of this product is $27. So we'll create that. Right, we've done that now. Now, best thing to do now is just to refresh that page. And the reason I refresh there is so we can check that Facebook can track that URL. So now we can choose a conversion event and we've got to find the one we just created. And it's this one with the red mark by it and that's because nobody's visited that page yet. Facebook hasn't tracked that code yet. That's because we just made it. So we'll put that in there and it says that won't work. Your ad will not be optimized for this conversion. So we have to start again, but don't worry, it's very quick. So just refresh that page and we have to go through the whole rigmarole again, but this is the only way I've seen how to do this. If you're doing it this way, creating that conversion pixel just at that moment. So we do the same thing again, increase conversions on your website. We get the sales page in there, boom, and we choose the conversion event and hopefully that will have a green light next to it and there it is yep so we've got it we're in now we've got to change the name of the campaign so I call it the same and now we create the custom audience so it's a new custom audience and it's website traffic we go we've read the T's and C's even though we haven't and we do almost exactly the same thing here we go people visiting a specific web page but not others. In there we want to include the people who have been on the product page but haven't checked out from it. And again we'll have a very similar name sales page but didn't buy. Create audience. Thank you for creating a custom audience. Now this is done. This is such a small audience. It's no one virtually at the moment, but over 30 days we'll start to pick up some people who've been on that sales page and who are on Facebook. So there's no need to narrow it down any further at all. So we just leave all of this blank. That is the benefit of doing it this way. It's retargeting. It's really very simple. So I'm going to put the budget down to $5 a day. Again, we won't spend that much because there'll be very few people the ad will make an impression on. I don't bother changing the ad set name and some people are going to kill me here because I'm only going to test one image out and the reason I do this because I think 
when people visit a sales page, I just think they like to see the same image on Facebook that they see after they've clicked on it. So we choose the correct Facebook page for this ad. And you'll notice the ad looks very boring here. And that's because Facebook has just pulled what it thinks should be the headline and the text and the image from the ad. The image is far too small. I like a big one. So the thing to do is just upload another version of that image from your desktop. And Facebook recommends 1200 by 628, but just upload something and Facebook will do the crop for you. I could go into that and make sure it doesn't cut off the top of her head, but I, I'm not going to bother. But we've done that and here you'll see that the ad is improving because it's, it's given us a big image, which is what we want. But we've still got boring headline and text, so we've really got to think of some great stuff here. Okay, so we're nearly done. We've chosen the correct page there and I've written a headline and text that I think is appealing. Remember, these are people who have already been on this sales page, so they just need a little bit to push them over the edge to purchase. So a good idea is a quote up here or a recommendation, a case study from, from a happy customer and a great headline here. Don't worry about the orange warning there. This is for the other ads. Obviously on the desktop newsfeed you can see it. If you want, you can edit these other ads individually, but I don't bother. Always think it's best just to get the order placed as soon as possible so it only takes you five minutes to build an ad because the whole thing with Facebook ads and retargeting is test and test and test again. So you need to get this process down to a five minute very quick process because then you'll still have the energy to test. Last thing, choose the button, learn more is apparently works best. Okay, so that's all done. We placed order and we're done. You'll have an email very soon, hopefully, saying that the order has been approved and the only problems there is if you've got more than 20% text on an image or there's some word in the headline or text that Facebook has a problem with. But I think that'll be okay and I hope you enjoyed that. In another video, I will go on and tell you how this ad did. But for now, my name's Rob from robcoven.com. I'll see you in the next video.